Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. So today we are going to continue with chapter 9 which is on emerging technology revolution. Before we go into more details on this chapter, so what does it mean by emerging technology revolution? Emerging technology revolution is the technological transformation through technological replacement and progressive development. To make sense of that definition, we will look into what does it mean by emerging technology and also what is technological revolution. Emerging technology can be technologies that are in the progressive developments which technical innovation and practical applications to fit with the current need. Emerging technology can also be new technologies that will substantially alter the business and social environment. However, older technologies are also included because they are being further developed. This is due to the boost in computing power, which enables technologies reconstructions, cost and size reductions, processes, changes, capacity and flexibility. The microchips bandwidth and computers have been improved to fit in with the current need. Examples of older technologies that are still relevant include 3D printing, sensor technology, robotics, drones and also AI. Other examples of emerging technology include information technology, for example, communications, equipment, software and also hardware, educational technology, for example, computers, digital readers, tablets and mobile technology, wireless data communication, man-to-machine communication, on-demand printing, biotechnologies, advanced robotics and also artificial intelligence. All of these are currently improving or developing or will be developed within the next 5 to 10 years. Before we look into IR 4.0, we need to understand what does it mean by Industrial Revolution or IR. Industrial Revolution is an example of technological revolution. Technological revolution happens when one or more technologies are being replaced by another technology which typically involve innovations. We are currently in the IR 4.0 era. Industry 4.0 refers to a further development stage in the organization and management of entire value chain process involved in manufacturing industry. It is also known as fourth industrial revolution. The concept is widely used in Germany's manufacturing sector. IR 4.0 is built on the development of Industry 3.0 that expand computer technology by a network connection to allow automated communication amongst the machines. This figure shows a summary from the first industrial revolution up until the fourth industrial revolution. First industrial revolution happens through the introduction of mechanical production facilities with the help of water and steam power. It concentrates on changing manual to machine production. Second Industrial Revolution happens through the introduction of a division of labor and mass production with the help of electrical energy. It concentrates on the development of electrical machines and assembly line production. Third Industrial Revolution happens through the use of electronic and IT system that further automate production. It concentrates in the development and expansion of computer and microprocessor through partial automation using memory programmable controls. For example, electronics transistor, integrated circuits to automated machines, software systems and also other electronics. Fourth Industrial Revolution happens through the use of cyber-physical system. Cyber-physical here refers to the production systems, components and people to communicate via a network. For example, Internet of Things, IoT, which interconnecting machines, 
to allow virtual self-management. To summarize the revolutions that happen, IR 1.0 is on mechanical, IR 2.0 is on electrical, IR 3.0 is on computers, and the current IR 4.0 is on cyber physical. The first industrial revolution. This is on mechanical and changing from manual to machine production. The industrial revolution in Britain came in to introduce machines into production by the end of the 18th century. This included going from manual production to the use of steam-powered engines and water as a source of power. This helped agriculture greatly and the term factory became a little popular. One of the industries that benefited a lot from such changes is the textile industry, which was the first to adopt such methods. It is also constituted a huge part of the British economy at the time. The second industrial revolution, which is on electrical. Electrical machines are more efficient in terms of the cost and effort to operate and maintain compared to water or steam-based machines. The second industrial revolution started between 1870 and 1914. It used electric power to create mass production. It also introduced pre-existing systems such as telegraphs and railroads into the industries. The mass production of steel helped introduce railways into the system, which consequently contributed to mass production. Innovations in chemistry, such as the invention of the synthetic dye, also marked such period as chemistry was in a rather primitive state then. Mass production, of course, was not put to an end, but only developments within the same context were made, and none of which can be called industrial revolutions. The third industrial revolution is on computers. A computer is an electronic device for storing and processing data, typically in binary form, according to instructions given to it in a variable program. The third industrial revolution is dated between 1950 and 1970. It makes use of the internet for automated production. This is more familiar to us as most people living today are familiar with industries leaning on digital technologies in production. It is often referred to as the digital revolution and came about the change from analog to mechanical systems to digital ones. Others call it the information age. The third revolution was and still is a direct result of the huge development in computers and information and also the communication technology. The fourth industrial revolution is on cyber physical, where it interconnect machines to allow virtual self-management. Industry 4.0 first publicly introduced in 2011. Industry 4.0 term often used to refer to the development process in the management of manufacturing and chain production and known as the fourth industrial revolution, IR 4.0. II 4.0 takes the automation of manufacturing processes to a new level by introducing customized and flexible mass production technologies. This means that machines operate independently or cooperate with humans in creating a customer-oriented production field that constantly works on maintaining itself. The machine becomes an independent entity that is able to collect data, analyze it, and advice upon it. This becomes possible by introducing self-optimization, self-cognition, and self-customization into the industry. The manufacturers will be able to communicate with computers rather than operate them. This happens and make possible through the production systems, components, and people when they communicate via a network. How machines communicate the rapid changes in the Information and Communication Technologies ICT, have broken the boundaries between virtual reality and the real world. The idea behind Industry 4.0 is to create a social network where machines can communicate with each other, which is called the Internet of Things IoT, and also machines can communicate with people, which is called the Internet of People IOP. 
This way, machines can communicate with each other and with the manufacturers to create what we now call a Cyber Physical Production System, CPPS. All of this helps industries to integrate the real world into a virtual one and enable machines to collect live data, analyze them, and even make decisions based upon those data. A simple example of IoT is in smart home. Say that the sensor detects that the temperature is too high, it will send and communicate to the other device to reduce the temperature. This can happen automatically where it collects the live data and analyzes it and then make the decision. Cyber Physical Systems CPS it is the combination of the virtual digital world with a real physical world. It offers a real-time data collection, analysis and transparency across every aspect of a manufacturing operation. This means that computers and networks are able to monitor the physical process of manufacturing at a certain process. CPS are systems of collaborating computational entities which are in intensive connection with the surrounding physical world and its ongoing processes, providing and using at the same time data accessing and data processing services available on the internet. IR 4.0 tries to interconnect machines, especially for manufacturing. Connected Devices Projection From this figure, we can see that it's increasing every year. And by 2020, there would be around 6.58 connected devices per person. So, how can one person be connected to around 6 devices? The devices can be wearable technology. For example, we have smartphone, smartwatch and also wireless headphones. This can be connected to other products such as computers or laptops, printer, Bluetooth speaker and any game console, for example, Switch. Apple products might be preferred by some people because different devices can be connected. For example, linking the smartwatch with smartphone and then the iPad and also the MacBook. So, how many connected devices do you have? Why do you think people prefer to have all their devices to be connected or linked to each other? Road to IR 4.0 includes Internet of Things IoT, Industrial Internet of Things IIoT, and also Internet of Services IOS. We have discussed about IoT and IOS in the previous topics. So IOS, everything that is needed to use software applications, is available as a service on the internet. This includes the software and any tools to develop the software. It also includes the platform such as the servers, storage or communication to run the software. IOS is related to the three models of cloud service that we have covered in previous topic. Just to recap, we have looked into Software as a Service, SAAS, Platform as a Service, PAAS, and also Infrastructure as a Service, IAAS. Other than IoT, IIoT, and IOS, IR 4.0 also covers Smart Manufacturing, smart devices and products, smart logistics, smart cities, smart home, and also predictive analytics. Industry 4.0 is changing the way cyber physical systems behave by expanding the possibilities of digital transformation where digital and physical technologies are combined and connected to enable flexible, responsive, and interconnect decision capabilities. With the emerging technology revolution, it is for certain to have a massive impact on all the fields and industries. Internet of Things IoT and Internet of Data and Services IODS. IoT is a network of physical objects, vehicles, machines, home appliances, 
that use sensors and APIs to connect and exchange data over the internet. What does it mean by API? API stands for Application Programming Interface. It defines the interactions between multiple software intermediaries. In simple terms, it allows two applications to talk to each other. For example, you are searching for your friend's name on Facebook. When you click on search, it will check on the Facebook remote server or database. It will then send back to you the result. So, that is an example of two applications talking to each other, which the first one is Facebook on the web, and the second one is the Facebook remote server or database. The capability of connecting and exchanging data over the internet makes it possible to automate applications and perform tasks without the need for manual human intervention. To communicate over the internet and perform automated tasks, devices need to be equipped with the requisite electronics and assign a unique identity in the form of a network address. Devices with more sophisticated capabilities are commonly described as smart. The connected devices also provide an interface that allows users to operate and control them across the internet from any geographic location. For example, car parking sensor system in the mall. It can be intelligent enough to point to the exact location or GPS to where an empty spot is available. On Padlet, I have shared videos on examples of smart home and also smart city. Smart parking is being implemented in smart cities. Cardiff has rolled out smart parking technology across the city, allowing visitors and residents to find empty spaces using a smartphone application. The Cardiff system makes use of 3,300 sensors installed in the road on paid for and disabled parking bays with infrared technology detecting whether a space is vacant. An example of smart home is by using LG smart appliances. You can control key features on LG smart appliances from your smartphone. For example, you will receive a notification on your smartphone if the refrigerator door is accidentally left open. Or you can turn on your smart air conditioner remotely so your home will be cool when you arrive. You can also get status updates sent to your smartphone when the washer has finished a cycle. These are some of the examples of LG smart appliances that you can control from your smartphone. Other than LG, Samsung also has their own smart home where they call it as smart things. You can go through the links if you want to know more about those things. I came across this article on using smart city technology to tell if social distancing is working. If you're interested to read more about it, I have provided the link for you. Basically, in the article, it says that Newcastle University Urban Observatory have produced models which can measure the distance between pedestrians in public places. Using a traffic light indicator system, the algorithm is able to anonymously identify and label people who maintain safe distances while flagging certain instances in red where social distancing measures are violated. To summarize what is Internet of Things, it is a platform where regular devices are connected to the internet so they can interact, collaborate, and exchange data with each other. Before IoT, people need to run from one machine to another. Well, after we have IoT, machine will do everything. This helps to reduce human intervention in any machine cycle. IoT is being used everywhere. It can be in our everyday life as well. For example, we have smart devices and also wearable technologies. In healthcare, we can have real-time health monitoring devices. IoT in smart cities, for example, smart parking and also smart lights where when it detects the environment 
it can turn on the lights or turn off the lights. IoT in agriculture, for example, using sensors for the watering system. IoT in industrial automation, for example, in assembly in the car production. And also IoT in disaster management, for example, using sensors to detect before disaster happen and to send warnings about it. Internet of Services IOS. Under the Internet of Services, everything that is needed to use software applications is available as a service on the internet, including the software itself, the tools to develop the software, and the platform, for example, servers, storage, and communication to run the software. The Internet of Services aims at creating a wrapper that simplifies all connected devices to make the most out of them by simplifying the process. It is the customer's gateway to the manufacturer. As I mentioned before, this is related to the cloud service models, which are the Software as a Service, SAAS, Platform as a Service, PAAS, and also Infrastructure as a Service, IAAS. Innovation Driver from IoT and IODS this figure shows that by combining IoT and IODS, we can have better smart building, smart products, smart factory, smart logistic, smart health, smart grids, and also smart mobility. Smart factory is the vision of a production environment in which production facilities and logistic systems are organized without human intervention. The factory operates autonomously and can run diagnostics required to identify and repair any malfunctions without having to halt the entire production line. It is based on cyber physical systems that communicate with each other using the Internet of Things and Services. Smart factories use industrial internet and the cloud to connect the real and virtual worlds resulting in seamless integration of cyber physical systems at all levels, allowing the whole production process to be monitored. So, what is industrial internet? It is the integration and linking of big data, analytical tools, and wireless networks with physical and industrial equipment. In simple words, it means interconnecting sensors, instruments, and other devices networked together with computers' industrial applications. This figure shows an example of smart factory, where machines use self-optimization, self-configuration, and even artificial intelligence to complete complex tasks in order to deliver vastly superior cost efficiencies and better quality goods or services. This figure shows an example of smart factory where it has automated systems and processes. On the machines, they have their own sensors and the ability to process data. Each of the machines are able to talk to one another where they have the connections between them. All of the machines in the factory are connected to the back office. All the machines in one factory can be connected to the machines in other factory, which means that it has a connection of factory to factory. This means that regardless of the location of the machines and factories, they can be controlled remotely. The enabling technologies are the technological advances that drive the digitization of the manufacturing and production industries towards Industry 4.0. This technology's advancement is paving the way towards greater efficiencies and productivity by transforming traditional interactions among human and machines to be interconnected for autonomous systems. Many businesses, companies and manufacturers in the industry might have already implemented some of these technologies in isolation. They would need to reevaluate and reassess their approach to adopt the ability 
to interconnect the technologies and network communication that is imparted in Industry 4.0. There are nine enabling technologies which are the pillars of Industry 4.0, which are artificial intelligence and autonomous robots, system integration and Internet of Things, the technological advancement and convergence through big data analytics, simulations and augmented reality, information technology through cloud computing, cyber security to protect the information systems and manufacturing resources. Big data analytics. Big data platform can be used to collect, store and analyze the massive data. Companies collect data to improve their operational processes. Big data and analytics is the collection of data comprising equipment and systems and customer management system to help assist companies to identify trends, patterns and relationships between inputs, processes and outputs, enabling real-time decision making. Autonomous robots is the technology that allows the system to learn, think, act, react autonomously as well as to conduct remote decision making. Industry 4.0 will see the further rise of autonomous system, namely robotics, working side by side with humans, for example, collaborative robot, cobot, but with a greater range of capabilities all helping to contribute to a company's competitiveness, productivity and profitability. In simulation, vast range of industries are applying simulation into their operational processes, enabling operators to test and optimize machines and systems. This is especially relevant for those working within a dangerous physical environment because it allows them to test the processes before they embark into the real situation. This would help in avoiding and improving machine downtime as well as increasing overall product and work quality. Horizontal and vertical system integration. Through this technology, companies, departments, functions and capabilities are linked together, allowing seamless communication, coordination and exchange of data across the business as a whole. Industrial Internet of Things, IIoT, enables objects and machines such as mobile phones and sensors to communicate with each other as well as human beings to work out solutions. This technology connects the internet to everyday items, tasks, equipment and components enabling real-time responses. This saves businesses valuable resources such as time and money and this also helps in reducing production time as well as aid risk management. Cybersecurity is important in protecting the connected devices and environments against security threats. These connected devices can be any Internet of Things devices, cloud computing, or IT devices and environment. Sophisticated and reliable security management system is essential to safeguard systems against cyber attacks, networking to support the system's distributed operations, game techniques to advance their user interaction and visualization, as well as software engineering and AI to build autonomic capability into the systems for intelligent operations. Cloud computing involves a network of remote servers to store, manage and process data, which helps especially in production-related sharing across sites and company boundaries. This is advantageous for businesses as it permits the company to bring forward their savviness in all sales situations. This means that it can be accessed anywhere, at any time. Additive manufacturing refers to a cluster of technologies that produce objects by adding material in sequential layers, for example, using metals, plastics or any composite materials. Additive manufacturing, such as 3D design printing, is highly useful, especially in the making of prototype and production of individual components. This technology enables manufacturers to focus on producing small batches of customized products which offer construction advantages such as complex and lightweight designs. 
Augmented reality is made popular via the gaming community such as Pokemon Go where augmented reality allows augmented imagery to be placed in front of the real world. This presents businesses the opportunities to showcase their products to the market without having to bear the expense of creating a physical copy. Based on what we have learned so far and the explanation on the nine pillars of Industry 4.0, we can see that IR 4.0 has a lot of benefits. In terms of improved productivity and output, Industry 4.0 technologies enable you to produce higher quality, higher margin and more innovative products. It can also maximize the optimization where hundreds or even thousands of smart devices are able to self-optimize which will lead to an almost zero downtime in production. In terms of the benefit in customization, it allows a flexible market that is customer-oriented to meet with the population's need fast and smoothly. The adoption of Industry 4.0 technologies will push research in various fields such as IT security and will have its effect on the education in particular. A new industry will require a new set of skills. Consequently, education and training will take a new shape that provides such an industry with the required skilled labor. IR 4.0 will enhance customization for flexible manufacturing. It will also improve the working safety and output through simulation and allow access to data across the supply chain. Even though IR 4.0 has a lot of benefits, there are also challenges that need to be tackled. These challenges are in terms of the security, capital, employment, and also privacy. As IR 4.0 is on interconnecting machines, this integration will give room to security breaches and data leaks. Cyber theft must also be put into consideration as all the data can be accessed through the cloud. In terms of the challenge in capital, such transformation in IR 4.0 will require a huge investment in a new technology. The risk of it must be calculated and be taken seriously. Workers in companies and factories need to acquire different or new set of skills. Even though this might be a challenge, it also will benefit the individual in terms of the education and training that they need to have. There will be more new jobs that are available that are related to Industry 4.0. Privacy is related to the security. In such an interconnected industry, producers need to collect and analyze data. To the customer, this might look like a threat to his privacy. Small or large companies who haven't shared their data in the past will have to work their way to a more transparent environment. This might open up to security breaches and also data leaks. In summary, there are four main things in IR 4.0 which are connected, responsive, intelligent, and aware. Smart products are equipped with a M2M communication device that enables interaction and data exchange with other cyber-physical systems. M2M is machine-to-machine -machine communication. Smart products are also equipped with control technology that enables autonomous product adaption based on the internal or external commands. It will also be equipped with computing power that enables autonomous decision-making and self-learning processes based on the defined algorithms. With the sensor technology that are being implemented in the smart products, it gives them the access to condition information regarding the product and its environment. To know more about IR 4.0, you can refer to all these links. Industrial Revolution 4.0 is a broad topic, 
where different people might have different interpretation on the details of it. If you want to know about Industry 4.0 in Malaysia, you can refer to this national policy. The national policy on Industry 4.0 is called Industry Forward. It's an outline that guides and addresses the agenda and foster agency and actions to accelerate Malaysia's readiness to embrace and implement Industry 4.0 ecosystem transformation. Industry 4.0 experienced the technological transformation that is fundamentally changing the way machines, devices and technologies interact. To summarize, emerging technology revolution is the technological transformation through technological replacement and progressive development driven by the enabling technologies that include big data analytics, simulations and augmented reality, artificial intelligence and autonomous robots, information technology through cloud computing, system integration and Internet of Things, and also cybersecurity. This transformation is the key to shaping the Industry 4.0. That's all about this topic. I have posted some questions on online learning. Try and answer those questions by today. We are going to discuss it in the next class. That's all. Thank you.